Shalom, y'all. Hey, uh... Yeah, there. Okay, yeah. I was just, uh, thinking about, you know, we're approaching Sam Sawain. Uh, I mean, Halloween. And, uh, I'm just gonna pray a little bit. Lord, please forgive me for taking these, the names of these pagan holidays, these pagan gods, onto my lips. For your word does say to not even have the names of other gods on our lips. Shem Yeshua. Amen. Friends, we're approaching, I'm speaking this as we approach Halloween. This is October, I think, the 23rd here now. And, and I've seen posts on Facebook about this, and you know, it'll be spoken of a lot. Why? Because, because we are trying to reinvent it once again. And, you know, call it Fall Festival, call it uh, Trunk or Treat, and all these all this garbage but the uh, the point being here is that we keep trying to reinvent the, these things now the reason why this really comes into uh, a lot of conversation right now is because it has this particular holiday we call it Halloween therein also trying to reinvent uh, we call it Halloween be and uh, it's become more popular than Christmas as of the 1990s. That's when it began surpassing Christmas in sales at local stores and so forth. And uh, now, of course, you'll see decorations for it beginning even in August. So that gets our attention. And it's very, you know, as, as paganism tries to bring it back, and you know that's what's happening when paganism tries to bring it back, then we see even more clearly what it's about. Well, here's the point. We know, no, we know that the pagan holidays that we've tried to Christianize are among us. We know that, but we just can't stop doing it until it gets shoved in our face, the paganism of it gets shoved in our face. If you have trouble, for instance, with trick or treat because you know its background, you know that uh, Krampus comes and he's going to or Krampus, or I don't know, different different names in different you know places around the world. But Krampus comes, and he's going to punish humans because he hates humans, and he's going to offer you. He's going to come. He's making a list and checking it twice. Find out who's naughty, and nice. The nice people. He's going to punish them in a different way, maybe a more nice kind of way. And those who have been naughty, he's going to punish in a more uh, you know, painful, hateful kind of way, but he's going to punish because he hates humans. And so if you, if you, if you don't like, you find some background to trick or treat and you find it very distasteful as of paganism, then you should also find trouble with um, basically the same thing in gifts. Christmas. Yes? Yeah? Saint Nick? Well, you can go and you can take a look. The you know the Vatican recently came out and said, you know, came clean on the fact that there has never been a Saint Nicholas. There's been a Nicholas, but not a Saint Nicholas, because Nicholas is a bad guy. You know, Krampus, Nimrod, so on and so forth. Baal in the Bible. So you know, he, it's the same thing. He's checking his list, making it twice, going to find out who's naughty and nice, and he's going to punish them both. Okay? That's why he makes a list. Does God make a list so that he can check it twice and find out who's naughty and nice and then punish both? Why, you know, why do we say trick-or-treat? All these things are the same, my friends. Now, the point of this is, there's a fella, nice pope, I'm sure he's a great guy, and blah, 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 blah. But um, Gregory the first, second century fella, uh, decided to go ahead and allow paganism uh, when when people came into Christendom, and that's where I will call it Christendom. As a friend or a fellow that I was once giving a tour to uh, around tabernacles, he, he called it. I called it Christendom. Christendom. He called it Christendom. 
kind of have to agree with him. He's an, he was he is a confessed atheist, but he was an atheist not because he was against God, because he is against Christianity's form of God. And so, and I feel bad for him because he chose atheism because of that. But nonetheless, and that, and that's, that happens all over the place because of we cannot seem to get over our lust, our lust for even the pagan components because these matters have become, these customs have become fossilized. Fossilized customs, that's the name of a book written by a fella. Or you could call it uh, crystallized customs, according to a judge who made a ruling and he, re he phrased it that way in writing his sentence, his ruling, pardon me. So you can call it what you want. Fossilized, crystallized, we're stuck with it, it seems, like the Egyptians trying to go through the sea and get stuck in the mud. But there are humans, there are individuals who know, they know, and they go ahead, go ahead and allow themselves to be convicted. And they might pray through the night on Halloween, but they won't pray through the night on Yule. I mean Saturnalia. I mean Christmas. Yeah, reinvent it however you want, but reinventing it is not getting rid of it. It's just putting lipstick on a pig. It doesn't change the pig one bit. Put whatever Christian name you want to it. Call it what you will. Who gives a... <clears throat> who cares? But the point being is, there are festivals of the Lord. They are of the Lord. They're not Jewish festivals until later on in history because only Jews obeyed. They are festivals of the Lord and they are eternal, as eternal as He is. And it says that they are eternal. Scripture tells us that they are forever. Forever means eternal. Eternal means forever. Unending. No end to them. My words will never pass away says our Lord, our Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Lord. So, if you just can't, it's not possible for you to quit lusting after, chasing after fornication. I'm giving words from Leviticus chapter 22. Go ahead and read it. If it's impossible for you to stop chasing after fornication, then I would suggest you go ahead and refer to yourself as a pagan. But if you have the ability, the Holy Spirit in you given you the, the ability to follow the Lord, yes, all of the Lord's instructions, if you find the, why open your Bible, why carry a Bible around from Genesis to Revelation, say you believe it, but you don't do it, that's called hypocrisy, okay? Let's just go ahead and be real. I don't mind being real. I hope you don't mind being real. You see, if you view pornography on your phone or computer, whatever form of pornography it is, there are plenty of people out there whose form of pornography, and I, Lord, please, there are plenty of people out there whose form of pornography that they view is bestiality, horses in particular strangely enough and the more they view that the more lust will be for animals if you view in pornography homosexuality a man viewing uh, male upon male homosexuality guess what his lust will be for guess what urges that will be for you say you don't have, or you, as a male, you don't have a sexual urge for women. Maybe you should check what you've been viewing. Maybe you should check what's been grabbing a hold of you. It is the sick who need a physician, and the word sick there means you're bound, you're, you're held tight by something. Okay. Chase after fornication, Leviticus 22. What does that mean? You're lusting after a particular form of fornication, whatever form it may be. Whatever form it may be, I'm using pornography in as, as an example. What about these things that we have tried to reinvent? We've tried to put lipstick on a pig. We've tried to give them Christian names. We might wear slacks rather than jeans or whatever and refer to it as Christian. And referring it to as, as Christian must obviously mean something, you know. It must mean it's, it's somewhere in the hemisphere converting. No. Last, last words of the Tanakh, last words 
recorded in Second Chronicles, last words there, Cyrus Koresh, saying that he, that Adonai has given him the authority. Adonai has told him to, uh, to fund a rebuilding of a temple of the house of the Lord in Judah. In the original text that he wrote, is preserved to this day, it's not Adonai that he is praising there, it's Mar Marmaluke, I believe. Uh, I'm probably wrong there because I don't read those things so much, but but he is in the biblical form. He is praising Adonai. Why? Well, because it's safe with the Jews to do that. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he converted. So he put a, you know, a Jewish name on there. So he put the name of God's people on there. So he put a Christian name on it. That doesn't mean a blooming thing. Cyrus didn't convert. Nor did his God ever convert. Call it what you will. It means nothing. Repent. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. Stop trying to... If you're upset about Halloween, why aren't you upset about Christmas? We haven't even changed the name of Easter. Shalom, my friends.